This isn't no Autobahn title and tag. Where are we now? We're not working today. That's right. We're on vacation. We're on a vacation. We are um, exploring New England and mm -hmm. on our way to Maine. Yeah. We are going to um, see a bunch of lighthouses when we get to Maine. But now, while we're in Connecticut, we got a bit of a rainy day, and we're going to see if we can find some indoor stuff to do. So We're also going to hit some restaurants up along the way. We're catching a concert later tonight, so pack your bags. Andiamo. <laughs> we have arrived at Frank Pepe Pizzeria Napolitana here in Danbury, Connecticut, home of the original tomato pie. The rain has finally stopped, and we are very excited to be going inside. We even have our own reserved parking for Pepe's Pizza. Voila. You're too excited. Pretty nice in here, huh? It is really nice in here. We're the first customer of the day. Right? We didn't know if we were going to sit down and order or whether we were going to order at the counter. And um, we got the uh, server to come over and give us what all the options are, including yep. this summer's fresh tomato pie special. It's only around for a couple of months. We That's both cool. ordered since we each want our own individual toppings. Nice. We wanted to get the lunch special. So for fifteen dollars, right. you get a salad, you get a pizza, and you get a soft drink. Mm -hmm. And in my book, that's a deal. That, that is, is a, deal. a deal. They have a rewards program. They have non-alcoholic beers. They have a wine menu. Nice. Red wine, white wine, white wine, red wine, prosecco. <laughs> right. Looks good. And, uh, and then their regular uh, pizza menu. You can build your own pizza. You can take one of their suggestions for a combination. You can have the July to the September fresh tomato pie. We have fan favorites o over here. The Pepe Small Pie Sampler. You can get three small pizzas for $45. Hey, that's pretty cool. And everybody can have their own topping on them. And then over here, you got some uh, salad choices and dessert. Look at that old time picture up the top. They've been there since 19... 25, those pictures from the 1930s. 1925, that means right before your dad. Dang. Uh, my dad was like 37, mm -hmm. so these, this might be from around that era. And I see you're donning a brand new matching shirt today. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. <laughs> Let's see. Our appetizers have arrived. I have the peppy salad with some Pecorino Romano. There's some lettuce and greens, and buried underneath that is Glenn's number one enemy, black olives. I'm not eating the olives, and Glenn Glenn You better eat them. has Caesar, Caesar salad, salad with romaine croutons. hearts. I took croutons out, you have There's them. some romaine hearts in there. If you want a crouton, you can have one. No hidden treasures in there. Mm -hmm. Looks like a great Caesar salad. It's got a lot of you know, Pecorino Romano cheese on it. Yeah. All nice romaine hearts. Cool. A little bit of Caesar dressing, not too, too much. How's it taste? Delicious. Cool. My turn. All right. Mmm. Get the olives out of there. Tossed with balsamic. Oh, I see one. Mm hmm. <laughs> some cherry tomatoes, some field greens, a little cucumber. And her favorite black. Oh, I see a red olive too. I'll tell you what, I've never had anything tossed in balsamic before. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. So good. What's with the face? Oh my god. The, pizza's the pizzas here have already. arrived. I didn't get to finish my salad. Here's my pizza with and, the anchovy. Uh, I have a feeling that this is a little hot. It just came out of a 600 degree coal fire oven. Look at that anchovy it's pizza. Got some charring on the side for. And then here is Glenn's pizza. Extra flavor. We got the sausage. Look at this. These are the 10 inch pizza. One yeah, special. 10 inch pizza, one special. It looks like a pizza to me. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's going in. She's got the anchovy pizza. It's like they gave you a little extra sauce. Right? Oh my God. Ooh, my sausage. Oh, this I can't is so wait good. to dig into that. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Nice thin crust. Mm -hmm. Cooks real quick in the oven. You take a bite. I get a bite of mine too. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I think I might let mine cool a little bit more. Let no, have to. No. Mm -mm. Little bite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Right. That sausage. 
cooked in about 15 minutes inside, inside that 600 degree oven. I'm sure they put it on raw. It tastes awesome. Nice. That was really, really Hawaii. good. And what a bargain too. 30 bucks. That's a steal people, here in two Connecticut. Pieces, two salads, two sodas, 30 bucks. Can't go Incredible. wrong. Incredible. Mm -hmm. where, where to next, McFly? Uh, let's go to the Air and Space Museum. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is this cops or cops? I don't know. You didn't tell me there was police involved, Lucia. <laughs> I don't think cops know how to make oysters <laughs> and lobster rolls. <laughs> but cops would. That's right. All right, so we are at the uh, Cops Island Oysters Oyster Shack. And there it is. Looks like a pretty popular place. <laughs> Maybe on the weekends, not today. <laughs> and we are right on the water. Look over that way. Very nice. You can see all the sailboats mooring out there. They had a, uh, a seafood store too. Yep. Wednesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. Yep. to 7.30 p.m. We already had a snack this morning at Frank Pepe with our uh, Caesar salad and our uh, individual pieces. Unfortunately, the museum was closed, so this is a plan yes, B. Yes, the uh, Air and Space Museum <laughs> here in Stratford. Uh, Connecticut is only open on Saturdays and Sundays, so we're not going to have time for that. But we have another museum that we're going to find tomorrow when we head through New Haven. Nice. It's going to be good. This is Brown's Marina. They have a nice little store with a lot of different stuff inside. Very nice. And more over here. Very cool. Nice little shop for all your oyster picking needs. Very, very cool. At least the weather's holding out today. But up next, we're gonna go check out the Oyster Shack. Cops Island Oyster Shack. This is their little menu of all the good food. Nice little shack with the marina in the background. And Mr. Murphy decided on what he's going to eat. Tiny shows. Very cool. Tender and Opens Wednesday to Sunday. Starts at 11.30. Alright, we're at Cops Island Oyster Shack. Located in... Stratford, Connecticut. Stratford, Connecticut. Right near Bridgeport. We ordered the lobster roll. This is the hot lobster roll. $32. Mm -hmm. They have a cold lobster roll too if you prefer cold with mayonnaise. This comes hot with butter on the buttered roll. And we had to get an order of oysters because this is an oyster shack. And then here's the fried oysters and that was how much? And the fried oysters were 19 and Those that 19. was 32 so 50 bucks. And then we got some sea salt chips to complement mm -hmm. it. The wind is starting to pick up. Hopefully yeah. we don't have a tornado here while we're eating our food. I hope we don't have a tornado. All right, buddy. Let's try one of these try it up. <laughs> I don't think I ever had fried oysters before. Let's show them how it's done. Hold these. Look at that. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect, mm. but that's pretty good, huh? I kind of like them better than the fresh ones. Not a lot of breading on there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, buddy. Dig in. I'm gonna try it without any. Without any bread. Any lemon first. Oh, no. without any lemon. They buttered the roll nicely. Okay. So let's, let's, show, see. let's show them that. Ugh. First lobster roll of the Tia and John's journeys on YouTube 2.0. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? 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 You're feeling it, aren't you? Mm-hmm. All right. Now it's my turn. Where'd you get that? Mm-hmm. What's that? The camera. It's a DJI Osmo. And it does all of our video mm. footage for our YouTube channel. What's your name? Janesta Milton. I'm visiting from Georgia. You're from Georgia? Georgia? Yeah. And what's your friend's name? My name is Julie. Hi, Julie. How are you? We're good. I'm Glenn, and this is Lucia, and we have a channel called Life with Lucia and Glenn. And this is our first stop for a lobster roll here in Connecticut. We're on our way to Portland, Maine, and we're going to have lobster rolls for breakfast, lunch, and dinner when we get there. So you mm -hmm. on your YouTube channel? 
So you're yeah. on me on our you YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so welcome to Cops uh, uh, Lobster um, <coughs> Oyster Shack. It's not a lobster shack. The other lobster shacks up there. Uh, yeah. And Delish. we're going to keep you eating. South. Where are we now? Uh, happy hour. Already? It's not 5 o'clock. No, it doesn't have to be 5 o'clock. But we did find this little gem down the road from our hotel. Believe it or not, we're actually staying at the same place we stayed the last time we were here to see Sammy Hagar. The last time! So we found this little windmill restaurant, AK Tavern Bar, down the road. We're gonna go check it out. We are now, Hi. We are now inside the windmill tavern restaurant. Found a new non-alcoholic beer called Headlam Juicy Boom. IPA style, of course. Ooh. It says only 70 calories. That is delicious. Uh huh. That's a really good IPA. Me, I got the standard White Claw. Nobody cares. <laughs> Show them around. Just... This is the uh, windmill bar and grill here. Oh, I think we're still in Stratford. <laughs> Are we still in Stratford? <laughs> He's waving to you. <laughs> How are you? <ya? laughs> oh, God. I told you I wanted to go take a nap. Do you understand what a nap is? It's not nap time yet. It's only 2.30. It's lunchtime. So what do you mean it's lunchtime? We've already eaten lunch twice. What do you mean? That, the first one was a snack. The second one's a snack. So this must be real lunchtime. Bull. I don't believe you. <laughs> Welcome to Stowe's in Connecticut, everybody. Glenn has checked out some pictures of the place and it looks pretty good. Get out of the people's way. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Very nice. Beware of octopus. All right. What about octopus? It said beware of octopus. <laughs> Soft shell crab. Yeah. Right? Too good. It is really cool in here, you guys. Love it. Really cool. We've just ordered a lobster roll, some gumbo, and onion rings. What do you got in there? Welcome to the West Haven Beaches. West Haven Beaches. For our... Oh my God, look at that gumbo. TT gumbo. Looks delicious. That is laced with shrimp, andouille sausage, fish. I think I see a scallop in the bottom there. That better be mine. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh my god. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Spicy? Mm-hmm. Really? I can't believe this is the third time we're eating today. Look at this gumball. You guys, look at it. He's eating it all. He's not even sharing. And then we've got onion rings. Look at that. And last but not least, our second lobster roll. I think we're going to be eating lobster rolls the entire time we're here. But this is where we're at. So seafood in Connecticut. And yeah, look at this. Uh, right on the beach. Yeah, we're eating on the beach. Let's eat. Oh, the Holy Grail. Right? Mm hmm. Stow seafood, that's claw meat. Look at that. Right there. Oh, with butter. Look Look looks like they gave you a pickle. They give you a pickle in there? There's no pickle. Give me a bite. Mm hmm. That's really good. You got your gumbo. Cracker. Cracker. And these are the best onion rings. Ah, They're yummy, okay. yummy. They're okay. <clears throat> what do you know about onion rings? Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to room 308 here at the Quality Suites in Connecticut. We have a lovely little bathroom over here. Nice toilet, nice sink, decent sized mirror, nice standard shower. Not too shabby. One Mr. Murphy. All right. And then over here, let's turn on some more lights. Huh. 
we have a nice little desk area. We have a nice little couch area. Two nightstands, one medium sized bed. I hope we fit. Refrigerator, microwave, safe, usual setup when you get into a hotel. And nice little closet. And you ready for the room for the view? The trees! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So yeah, this is a really nice hotel. To stay here for the night, it costs... About 150 bucks. Yeah, not bad. So now, we've eaten enough for the day. We're going to take a nap. And on to the main attraction of this evening. Heavy metal parking lot in three, two, one, zero. We are coming to you live from the Bridgeport Amphitheater, former baseball stadium here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. If I remember exactly, which I don't remember a lot, Mr. Murphy, two years ago, ah. we were at the same place. And George Thorogood opened with George for Sammy Thorogood. Hagar and here we again. are tonight with Sammy Hagar with Loverboy opening up tonight. Mm -hmm. Everybody's jamming out to Sammy in the parking lot. They don't know what to do. We're gonna make our way into the amphitheater. We're gonna show you around. Before I do that, check out this amphitheater. How cool is that? I think it's wild. Here we go. So behind me, we just did the experience of the photo booth 360 with our friend here. What's your name and where are you Roland, from? Roland, Wahoo Live. Roland, where are you from? Earth primarily. Okay. Connecticut, right? Truly, truly, okay. yes, yes. And what you do is you get on there for a good, what, say 30 seconds? Yeah. He films the experience. We're gonna share the video up next of how it was with him. Check him out. I'm sure he's on social media. This is exactly where you can get your 360 photo booth. Save the memories. Wahoo Live. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Woo. Come on. Let's go, homie. Which way? Which way? Inside the Surfside Sandbar here at the venue, they're serving up Surfside drinks, iced tea, peach tea, lemonade, and vodka. Very pretty bar. These guys are ready to rock out. All right, Jeff's amazing kettle corn. We got the Chicago mix, which is sweet and salty Chicago mix. Good stuff. Check out Jeff's amazing kettle corn. It's a popping. Kettle corn, cheddar corn, and. Sweet and salty. Caramel. Caramel. Look at all the people ready for the Red Rocker. Here we go. All right, so we are inside the amphitheater. We are in row FFF. Seats number 25 and 26. This is our view. This used to be a former baseball stadium, now amphitheater. What an amazing place to see a concert. As we told you earlier, two years ago, we were here. We saw the rocker and we had a good time. To save copyright, we're only gonna show some bits and pieces from the concert, but not the whole thing. So sit back, grab your drink, and let's rock. Shaggy Doobie, Shaggy Doobie. Incredible. Just like two years ago, only this year, he had Satriani with him and really, really, really raised the bar. I can't drive 55, 40 years old today. today. He was only nine years old. He was 18. That's right. Where the hell have the years gone, man? All right, we got one more stop and then we'll recap and call it a night. Okay, I told him I wanted to go for eats, and I'm at a helicopter airport. Oh, wait a minute. The Windsock Bar and Grill makes sense. I have a saying about, this is the Sikorsky Airport, and I told Lucia it was a helicopter 
airport. The fellow in front of me had a shirt on that said, if you're in trouble anywhere in the world, an airplane can fly by and drop flowers for you. But a helicopter can save your life. That's nice. Let's eat. Well, that was a pretty good dupe. Place says open till one o'clock. Yeah. Kitchen closed. 10.30, fully packed bar. Everybody's still eating. I just think they just didn't want to wait on us. So we're going to find another late night snack. All right, we're going to try this again. Okay. Middle of nowhere. No, you're in the middle of somewhere. Yeah, it reminds me of Jersey, right? New Jersey? Are you in New Jersey? No. Shit. All right, I see pizza. Is this West Haven? Maybe. All right, Pizza Valley, here we come. So here's their menu. You have to show up and order it on the spot, so... I'm making it simple. Just a gyro and a hoagie. Just a gentleman working back there. It's very warm in here and he's happy as a clam. Clam's happy. Pizza Valley was very successful. We decided to eat it outside so we didn't really film our food outside. That was the biggest gyro I think I ever, ever ate. And you even said the word gyro to him and he didn't know what you were saying. I said gyro. Gyro. Because I thought he was a Greek but he was not. But. We had a gyro, and we had an Italian hoagie, which was very good. The guy really loaded it down for us. Oh, man. Yeah. Giant so, nuts. we had a fun-filled day today. Hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> the adventure from Frank Pepe's to Cops to Stowe's to the amphitheater and right back here to the hotel Pizza in Valley. Connecticut. Yeah, and Pete, well, Pizza Valley, not then. We didn't show you that. No. But, but if you like the content in today's video, subscribe, like, comment down below. Tell one friend to check out our channel. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Good night.